Looking at the front of the box is the first point of call because it's what you're going to see straight away. So first thing, shiny. Red and black follows the AMD colours. We can see that it has 4GB of GDDR5 memory which is whopping amounts. It's the Radeon HD6990 dual GPU graphics card just in case you bought this and thought it was a toaster. So Radeon graphics from AMD, AMD Black Vision, full DirectX 11 support wouldn't make sense if they went backwards. Uh, AMD iFinity, PCI Express 2.1, 1080p Full HD, AMD HD 3D technology, new display port version 1.2, HDMI high speed, 7.1 HD surround sound, and super fast GDDR5 memory, which, as said, there's four gigabytes of the stuff. Other than that, there's two people on here who look a bit like Rastafarians with their dreadlocks, but happy days. So turning the box over, we can see down here are the main specifications. So it tells us the graphics controller, operating system, monitor support, external connectors, and the main system requirements. We're not really gonna delve in too much, but one thing you will notice is that it has 750 watt or greater power supply with two 150 watt eight pin PCI Express power connectors recommended. So just uh, bear that in mind. If we turn this back up and round, this is where you will find most of the information on any product, not just graphics cards, but you always find a bit of a blurb just talking about the company, so Sapphire, as well as the graphics card or product, the HD6990, um, and really just a little bit of self-promotion. It does tell you what's included in the box, Sapphire HD6990 graphics card, which is always a plus, driver CD, cables, and user manual. Cables is very, very general, so we're gonna talk through exactly what does come included. And over here are some of the main features, and they are explained in a lot more detail. Now, opening this up is just a simple, just pulling that out, and see exactly what comes included. So we get this nice big brown box. Open that up and the top compartment has the graphics card, an anti-static bag. We'll take a look at that in a moment. And then we have another box. Now inside this box are all the accessories. So we get a driver installation CD, though we do tell you to go on etechnics.com or AMD's website for the latest versions. Crossfire bridge, a DVI to VGA adapter, a Sapphire Select Club leaflet, so that gives you promotions, contests and giveaways and much much more. And we also have a Sapphire graphics card quick installation guide which talks through many different languages as to installing the graphics card and things like that. But the main thing that I like about this is on the back it talks through the connection, so very very handy. Now one other thing that you will notice with this graphics card is that it comes with for dongles or adapters. Now these are for the mini display ports that are on the back of the graphics card. So straight away we have a mini display port to display port adapter. We have a mini display port to HDMI adapter. A mini display port to DVI adapter and in active fashion a mini display port to DVI adapter. So lots of nice accessories there. Now graphics card wise we have this huge anti-static bag which when we open it up will reveal the graphics card itself. Now the first thing that you'll notice about the 6990 is how large it is. It's actually over a foot, just over a foot. So when we compare it to something like a Radeon 6850, putting it on top of it, you can see how large it is in perspective. Taking it away, we'll talk about the 6990 in some more detail. So on top of the card, if we turn it up like that, you can see that it follows the sort of red and black AMD styling. Sapphire have decided to stick their own sticker over the top of it, but no Sapphire branding anywhere. We do see Radeon HD6990 over here, and it seems to have incorporated exactly the same fan as the 6950, 6970, which I'll be honest is horrible. It's so loud, and I will be honest, we've tested this graphics card already, and it's extremely loud. If obviously you're playing games, fantastic, but you imagine that spinning round whilst you're benchmarking, no sound, oh, it's just so loud, it gets so, so noisy. But I guess it's not a massive problem, but AMD could have improved on it and possibly taken another week before they actually released this card. 
Taking a look at the back, we can see things look a little bit different to most in the fact that you have two clamp brackets here, one over each GPU, and it uses the sort of casing around it. Now, I will warn you, we had this running for about two minutes into Heaven 2.1, and all we did was touch it here, and oh, it was just so hot, it was unbelievable. And there is a reason behind that, it uses a lot of power. As you can see up here, there are two 8-pin PCI Express power connectors. Now, there are other features on this card that you would have seen on other cards, including a crossfire connector here. In case you have more money than cents, you can connect up another 6990 and have it in crossfire mode. Now, there is a fancy little sticker on here that tells you read the manual before you remove it. And just there, we can see there is a BIOS switch, which some of you may have seen on a 69. 50 and 6970 before where you can switch the BIOS, flash it, do whatever you want to it and never really ruin the graphics card. Now this is basically set with two positions, position 1 and position 2. Now one of the positions is stock 830 MHz core clock, no problem at all. Whereas position 2 sort of steps things up a gear, so by flicking that switch into the next position it will actually clock it straight up to 880 megahertz so in a way you're actually getting the world's fastest graphics card the Radeon 6990 but you're also getting the world's faster fastest graphics card the 6990 overclock mode so fantastic there PCI Express 2.1 on the bottom and connection wise we can see the first bay is actually taken up by ventilation holes whereas the second is four mini display port adapters and one DVI adapter so hopefully that gives you an insight into the card. If you head over to eTechnics.com, if you're not already watching this video on there, you can get all the full specifications and see exactly how this performed benchmark-wise.